Here comes a cracking boat. She's called Irma 2. She's a 51-foot cruiser stern Sea Otter, built in 2008. Sea Otters are made of aluminium, so you never any need to black them. They don't have any anodes on. Some people black them just for cosmetic reasons, but um, and the, the hull fills with water as ballast. And when you take it out of the water for whatever reason, the water drains out. It's a lovely little boat. She handles nicely. She has a bow thruster. 80 kgf so it's really responsive the cruiser stern is uh, six foot four mix of portholes and bus style windows paintworks in very reasonable condition it's a lovely boat actually the other thing I need to tell you is that she's sold already. She sold the minute she got here, but we do like to show the videos anyway because it gives people ideas for different boats. and It's quite interesting for most people to have a look. Gas was in that forward locker. Two six kilo propane bottles. There's storage in these lockers either side of the well deck. The water tank is integral, 500 litres. Glazed front doors. And then we go, she's fitted out in light ash, carpets to the floor. The saloon itself is huge, fit nearly 16 feet long. Head height on the boat is six foot four. There's a dining table here that can sit in between those benches that you saw. Television on the cupboard here, that's a 12 volt Avtex, 22 inch TV DVD combo. There's also a Kenwood CD radio there with four speakers, storage under the step here. And another cupboard on the opposite side of the boat. Plenty of storage on board Emma 2. There's the Commodore. Radiator on the wall. The central heating is an auto term diesel heater connected to three radiators and a towel rail. That's a freezer. It's a shoreline 12 volt chest freezer. And under here is just storage. Some bungs, I think they must be for the window. Portals, rather. Storage under there. Well, that's the back of the chest freezer. But so these benches, you can put the dining table in between. They make up to two single berths, or they do make into a huge double bed if you wanted. The galley itself is six foot ten inches long, twelve volt shoreline fridge. There's an ice box in there. Bank of four drawers. And. Under the sink, a decent sized cupboard. The worktops in here, are, it's called granulon. It's granite effect granulon. There's some lights under this cupboard there, down lights onto the work surfaces. Full burner gas hob oven and grill. That's a spin flow caprice oven. Washing machine there is a Smeg WDF 12C. Plenty of work surface in here. It's a lovely layout boat, actually. I do like it. All the lights are LED. Can't remember if I mentioned that. Another large radiator on the wall here and down the corridor to the bathroom. Got a stylish wash basin. Heated towel rail. Cupboards under the basin. And the loo itself is a Thetford C402. Cassette loo and the shower cubicles in there. It's quite a reasonable size. And the bedrooms in the rear in the rear cabin. This is a cross bed, six foot long, five feet wide. Storage underneath. Lockers either side of the bed. Cupboards on the walls. There we go, all under their storage. So the boards on the right hand side of the screen, they just flip down to make up the bed and the mattress folds over. It's super easy. Decent sized wardrobe in here. And the electrica is on this side of the boat. There is an inverter on board, three kilowatt Victron inverter charger. You 
you can hook up to landline of course for 230 volts as well and a really nice size stern deck lovely bench seats around the edge it's a view from oh commodore's got off look he's over there the engine's in here it's a nanny 4.195 40 horsepower Nice and clean and tidy in here. The battery bank is 425 amp hour leisures and one starter. Two alternators, one 100 amp hour, uh, amps and 120 amps. Okay, let's have another potter back through. I've mentioned the bow thruster. It's got a TMC 345 gearbox. Hot water is heated by the engine, the central heating, and there is also an immersion heater on board. Engine was last serviced in January this year, by the way. I hadn't mentioned that. Which comes with all the necessary bits and pieces to just turn the key and go. Lovely boat. There are further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure, and the price, of course, on our website. But as I say, she's sold already.